Hi, my name's Chris. And my name's Joe. We're, We're gonna, gonna play, play some video games. Game. Alright. Game Loaf Episode 2, Lovely Planet, here we go. Uh, fucking George Bush doesn't like black people. <laughs> this is not how we're starting. So topical. <laughs> yeah, wait, didn't Kanye West say that? Wait, I heard a tomato. Oh. <laughs> Sometimes in life we all hear a tomato. I don't know if that's necessarily true. You're going away. I guess you- OH! Dude, did you see that? Snipe. I'm gonna- hang on, I'm gonna snipe. I'm gonna snipe. Dude, Fuck. you're such a camper. Dude, yeah, dude, I'm spawn camping. I wish, um, I wish this game had, uh, online versus. And you could race people? You fuck- okay. Wouldn't that be cool? That would actually be cool. Even if you could just be in the level and you, like, have to compete against the ghost or something. Like, it, just, like, imagine it's, like, you join a group with, like, ten other people. They're all speedrunning the level I can't at the exact imagine same that. time. Okay, well, it's I'm too not much. gonna draw a picture. It's too much to picture. Everybody else at home can imagine it, you can just be here. Ugh, come in my mouth, brother. That, I don't have to imagine. Alright. Um... <laughs> Let's bring up something political. Dude, shout out to Quick Tequila. This game's awesome. Dude, this, this is really fucking cool. Also, let's not bring up anything political. Yeah. yeah gonna, um, gonna snipe that guy. Have oh. they made any other games? Um, no. not that I know of off the top of my head. I'll this is my introduction to them. Yeah. I'd, I'd really be interested to see some of the other stuff. Or even, like, some of the people that were on this team, if they... Yeah, if they, like, have other, other studios. Well, I'm just a fan that they picked this musician that I always forget his name. I think it's Callum. He has, he has an interesting name, which I don't know if it's a stage name or his name. I think- I guess it's his name because it's also, like, kind of normal. Yeah. But who knows, you know. I think he's from Britland. Brit- yeah, that's what it's Britland, called. yeah. Just another geography yeah, God like Save so. the Queen and all that nonsense. Oh, no, fuck my tit! Just one of them, I guess. I wasn't angry enough to say tits. Dude, you know what movie we gotta watch again? again? Speaking of one tit, <laughs> Kung Pao. Wait. Do you remember the girl with the one boob? Dude, it- I watched it in sixth grade, I don't remember shit. Oh my god. It's so- I've gotten obliterated too it's many so... times between sixth grade and now. It's so dumb. But it's so funny because it's dumb. Yeah, I- I feel like there's a lot of movies like that. that like, when I grew up, I watched them and I was like- <laughs> And now I watch them, I'm like- I was- I was 10. Dude, shout out to fucking Steve Odenkirk. I think that was his name. Oh, yeah, yeah. I like- yeah, That was the guy that made it. I like, uh, Bob Odenkirk. He's but good if too. I had to pick an Odenkirk, I'd pick Bob Odenkirk. I would say I would probably pick him as well. We should redo- Nice. Let's- You know what? Fuck Steve Odenkirk. I like that movie. We no. should- We should redo, uh, Kung Pao shot for shot with Bob Odenkirk. Alright. As the chosen one. Alright. And no, no Chinese people. For anybody that doesn't know Kung Pao, it's an old... I don't know uh, how you wouldn't. It well, it's, it's so good. If you watch YouTube videos... If you're right, our age, I feel like you have to have seen it when you were younger. It's um an old Kung Fu movie with a guy dubbed into it and really stupid dialogue. Yeah, it's pretty great. It's so good, though. Great. Yeah. It is. That's right. I, I liked that movie a lot at the same time I really liked movies like Spaceballs and stuff. Which, like... I yeah. can still watch it's totally, Spaceballs, it's but it's like, a, it's just silly. Like, it's, it's not a, like a... Um, it's such a middle school kid. Yeah. Level. Or, level. Movie. It's a sick Ooh, just level. Dude, I, I didn't level up that much when I was in middle school, so... You know what's up? You heard <laughs> I don't know where that joke was going. Leave me alone, I'm drinking gin. I missed the exit. Yeah, what's your favorite genre of games? Um... I guess that's kind of a hard question, but... Just like, uh, if you had to pick, like, your top three favorite genres to play. Fuck, dude, I really don't know. Part of me wants to say RPG, but I, like, never have the patience to finish them nowadays. Mm -hmm. Um... Platformer, for sure. So it's gotta be number one. Hell yeah. Um, Shout out to platformers. Game Loaf, subscribe. <laughs> Great. Hey, you play platformer, you'd like Game Loaf. They guess. Won't be, we've pretty much only played platformers. True. Um... You know, it's, like, stupid. I actually do really like the FPS genre, but... I don't like, like, every fucking military game that comes out. Yeah. When I say FPS, I'm also referencing games like this. Like, more just clever use of the first person running around, blowing yeah. shit up. Like, I like that a lot. And then... Fuck, I don't even know what the... The third category, I don't even know if it is a category. Cause, like... My favorite game of all time is an RPG. But I wouldn't say RPGs are my favorite. I just, Earthbound. I just really fucking love Earthbound. But that yeah. doesn't make me love RPGs. Shout out to Earthbound. Earthbound. Shout out to Ness. Hashtag Shit. Ness. <laughs> this is 
is going great. Um, but, I don't know. I don't, I don't fucking know, dude. I guess like 16-bit era games are probably my favorite. Nice. And a lot of 32-bit games, too. It put, you know, put 64 in there, too. But, um... I don't know, it's like older games are my a, favorite. It is a tough question. Not that I don't love, like, PS2 and shit, but, like, I just like 90s games. 90s and 80s games are tight. I, that's not a genre, though, so I feel like a fucking... I feel like a hipster, too, and I'm like, Yo, I play games in the 90s. It's like, well... There's even games I didn't grow up with well, from that time period that I'm I just sure, straight up enjoy. I'm sure kids that grew up with Call of Duty and Minecraft will be super nostalgic for that. And yeah, that like that's what they'll swear by. You know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. Who, who even knows if FPSs are gonna be like a big deal in ten years? You know what I mean? Yeah. Like maybe they'll go back and be like, dude, let's load up some fucking FPSs. Maybe like platformers <laughs> will come back and nobody plays FPSs anymore. I think platformers are coming back. I think so too. I mean, I don't think the FPS will necessarily die because it does give people like a. A I fantasy see, that dude. they can't, like... I'm super pumped yeah. about, um... Wow. Ukulele. This is fucking embarrassing, dude. I'm, like, really fucking up on this level. It's all good. Is it, though? Because I'm a sick hashtag gamer, and I want people to know that I got leaked hacks. I'm super pumped for, um... Ukulele. I hate... I hate... Oh. Oh. So <laughs> okay, now I know. I like the sword stuck in it. Yeah, ukulele looks fucking cool. Just because I feel like there haven't been any good 3D platformers since... Like Jack and Daxter. Yes, like since the first, Rareware was doing them. The first Jack and Daxter was like, I think, oh, the last good. Yeah, seriously. Uh, the Ratchet and Clank games were good too, but those were really platformers. They were like platformers in spirit, but also something different. It was mostly combat based. Yeah. Um, but like, like there's something. Kind of. There's something about collectathons that I liked. Like, you, need, you still need to play Banjo Kazooie. I really do, I've never played it. Oh fun. my coming ass! It's a very simple concept. But it's fun. It looks fun. I, like I was watching a few people play it, like just over the course of my life. I don't know why I word it like that. I've seen people play it, is what I meant to say. Yeah. And um, it's like it's very cool to look at. Like the world seemed fun. Yeah, it's a fun game. But um, yeah, I don't know. It's not even like I guess it's like half a nostalgia thing that I like those old graphics and shit. Uh -huh. But it's like. Like I've said before, Earthbound's my favorite game, and I played it for the first time like two years ago. So, I'm not nostalgic oh, for that so game. I, it's a recent addition to my library, you know? Yeah. Well, it's it's weird, because Chris just showed me... Um, I never played Earthbound either. He just showed me... Fuck my dick and shit! Chris just showed me Earthbound <laughs> um, a couple weeks ago. And uh, I never played it either. And it was weird, because it was like... I'm I never come. played the game, but I... You're gonna come out of anger. I instantly felt nostalgic for it, just because it felt like so many other games I'd played. I just love it. And I think it's just because that game was like so... That game just cheers uh, was me Was it influential? Up. I don't even know. Because when it came out, not a lot of people, like, thought of it as a big deal. Yeah, I, I don't know, because like, I know a lot of people who swear by that game. I don't but, know like, how much how much impact it had. Yeah, in, I don't know in, what it uh, did back then. The RPG genre. I should read up on that because that's interesting to me. Yeah, I don't know, but it, it it just felt so familiar in the graphical style. Like I just felt like holy shit, I feel like a little kid playing this like during summer vacation or something. Yeah, you know. Honestly, that so game's cool. fucking rad. I need to finish that one. Uh, me we too, both dude. Need to it. Yeah, I've been like saving it because I don't want it to end. <laughs> like, how long I you fucking I'm having so much fun with how it. How many hours have you put into it? Oh, tons. Just because I backtrack. Like, it's one of those games that brings back that, like, childlike sense of exploration in a game for me. Yeah. To the point where, like, I'm actually backtracking. Are there, to like, side quests and shit? Um, not, not that I know not so of, much, but, but, like. It's kind of like a grinding. Thing. Yeah, but, like, I just. I missed one fucking bad. Are you kidding me? Who's this fucker? I swear to God, I will kill you. I'm like the Taken from Liam Neeson. Or vice versa, though. You oh. gotta switch those around. Um. Yeah, oh. it's right back there. So this is where it starts to get tricky. You have to do like 180 shots. That's sick. I don't know if I got them. I'm gonna. Oh, oh my god, it starts to get hard. Man. Like right around here. That's awesome, though. I'm excited, dude. Oh my god. I was coming playing this last night and I got to uh, World 2 level 20. And I was stuck on it. And I was like, I'm not gonna go to bed So I beat level 20. Yeah, and then and you I just... played it for like a half an hour and I was like, I'm going to bed. And not <laughs> but I missed. And I'm not being level 20. I okay. I feel like a fucking idiot. I keep missing this goddamn tomato. You just the way I was playing it, I would just like spam. Like just yeah. once you jump, just like fucking go nuts and just hope that one of them gets him. Nice. Oh! <laughs> so close. All right, I'm gonna beat this. Then we'll call it an episode. 
got this. Oh my, I wasn't even paying attention, I'll be um, honest. Just a quick update for people that were concerned. Uh, quick Tequila has not made any other games. So oh, really? I just, yeah, I looked at it. Oh, that's, I hope they make something. Pretty, pretty yeah. fucking spot on for the first game, man. Yeah, holy shit, this is really impressive. There's so many fucking Steam Greenlight games, they're a total embarrassment. Can you fall? Oh, wait, I finished. The end yeah. of the episode. Oh. Hang on. Yeah, I'm gonna, no. I'll just camp here. No. Oh, I thought you were gonna jump. Okay. No! 